We are at the AAS uh, for selection camp for the Tokyo Olympics. We're trying to get onto that podium, so everyone's got that in the back of their mind. We love the sport of basketball and we love being a part of the team. And so whenever we can get together, it's a lot of fun. I love playing on these courts. It brings back so many memories of when we were at the AIS playing in the Women's National Basketball League. There's been so many amazing players come through this program with the men's and women's program. So to be a part of that is obviously a special moment and hold that up to one of my career highlights, definitely. The likes of Lauren Jackson, Susie Bakovic, I'm so grateful to have been a part of the same program that they were too. But so many of us have been through the AAS and now we're you know, trying out for an Olympic team so it's a full circle moment. But it just speaks to the quality of this place with places even like the NBA recognising how special the AIS is in, in the development of Australian basketballers. I'm sub three, one, two, three, I'm I'm it is tough playing against the AIS men. They're so um, athletic and physical and strong and we'll try and, you know, bring our poise and our smarts to the game and if we can play against that, we can play against anyone. So, great practice for us. If I was in their shoes and play against an Opal scrimmage or a Boomer scrimmage, it would be something that was pretty special and one that you'd obviously always remember. When you represent Australia, it's special. That name on the front has a lot of pride behind it and there's been so much work done to get to where we are today and it's all about the way we play, how we go about it, the toughness that we show, just the ability to outwork people. I think that's kind of been what Australia has been known for and I think we'll continue to push for the best.